What? How, oh, how did you how did you come to learn what the ID was going to be used for? I think I had a previous call with Jeff Lowe and he told me. James set up that whole fake ID thing. Yeah. But now he's saying I think I had a I think I had a previous call with Jeff Lowe and he told me. They had that credit card or that, that ID through James's guy, you know. How and do we prove that? He says it. <clears throat> um, what did he ask you? He asked me if I knew a place that he could get a fake ID. What did you tell him? I said, yes, in Dallas. Okay. And how did you know about the place in Dallas? Because when I worked in the bar business, that's where everyone get, went to get IDs when they couldn't work. That's not true. He went and he did that so he could cash his fake checks. Because right. he asked me one time, I was remember when we had the store in the Oklahoma City Mall and he sent me a picture of this this Asian dude and asked me if I could Photoshop him a fake ID of um, somebody for some something he had to email him. And I think I tried and it, I just couldn't make it look right. <clears throat> but that would be in the emails on my computer. What text messages from Brian do we have in the file, in the public <coughs> defender file? There's between Brian and James. Garrettson. Yeah. We almost got him, we almost got him. Um, those two, there must be a tremendous amount of text messaging between those two. Because James, I mean, Matt, Bryant, and us had, you saw it, I mean, and I think at one point I deleted mine and started over. I got so much. Maybe not. Because I knew she she was the one that communicated with him the most. You had a lot of text messages. Yeah, I have phone. a feeling I probably deleted some, too, from, like, from the beginning. But I don't know. I mean, I know I got the, the most important one is where he says, don't text us. Text. Yeah. That's really, yeah. I think it, I think it is. I think it is, too. So. Particularly because it's going to tie in um, the beginning to the end, so mm -hmm. to speak. Um, well, you're welcome to our phones if you guys want to do a forensic dump on it. Yeah, we'll, we'll, we'll figure that out. And it may be that, that you get it through the, the carrier or something, but I mean, we can cross that bridge. You know, I really, okay, this is something Matt told me about AT&T, the carrier. He says, he says something along the lines that they have a harder time getting text messages from AT&T because they only last an X amount of time. Right. As to where you can get them from Verizon or T-Mobile a lot longer. He says that at and is a lot harder. Yeah, but they're in your thing. phone forever. That's why, see, Matt wanted to do a forensic dump on my phone, but then he claimed, he says, I'm not going to do it. He says, because then whatever else is on your phone can be used against you. Right. And so he claims he didn't do a forensic dump. He took her phone. He didn't yeah. take mine. He took hers. And I don't know why they'd take it if they're not going to do a forensic dump on it. Because you didn't have any naked shit on your phone, any weird stuff. Mm -hmm. No, that's... But I remember him saying, I, I don't want to do a dump because whatever that dump reveals, Joe's entitled to see it all. Right. But I have a feeling they did the dump and then... Where, had... Here's a question as I'm running through phones and all I'm doing right now is trying to grab anything that's like an mp3 or a wave or whatever and put it over in an audio file folder and so then we can go through those because otherwise I'm going to be going through five different right. folders and, right. and where would recordings have been made like a voice memo <clears throat> recording feature yeah. I saw some of those some like video upside down right if you see most of the video um, like on my computer, the only thing I think would be a real benefit to you would be um, there's a folder called Matt Bryant, Matt Bryant, Omar FBI files or something. On your computer. <clears throat> mm -hmm. Okay. And then, and then her computer is just a hodgepodge of. Just random. Um, but you've also her computer. computer is the Rinky computer, so you got all Rinky's docs. Um, We're pulling that one now, aren't we? No, we already got it. We got that. That's the one we got done. <laughs> and then, did you get our hard drives back? 
You should have all the hard drives back. Where are they? When I was looking for that room, yeah, the only thing that you don't have is the two phones that I have. But they were in my office. Yeah. What bag were they in? Because I don't remember seeing them. You can put them in your black bag. Yeah, my bag. They're not. I just went through it looking for the keys. Still wrapped in bubble wrap. That's where I thought I put them. We have a, I mean, we have a clone, right. so, you know, okay. if you can't find it, we have a clone. Because um, right now, we're taking our clone and making our clone into an external drive. Okay. And we're going to put the clone in one place and the external drive in my office, which is now cameraed up. It's got to be somewhere in our, our safe stuff. Probably in the pine straw with the key. Dude, I I was, the guy was, the guy was getting ready to cut a new key, and I'm standing over there and look down and all the wood chips. <coughs> it happens. Yeah, but we tore the room apart and we tore our backs apart five times. Um, the Saturday night conversation about the animals and the digging up of bodies um, remind me, okay, remind me that. <coughs> well, you know, the article that I had given you <coughs> where effectively an attorney weighed in up in, up in Oklahoma thinking, you know, there, there was a possible violation of the Brady Act because they didn't present the entire body to the tiger. They just cut their heads off. <clears throat> and I was even, I, I challenged Matt when they were doing that because as soon as they found all those bodies, I'm thinking, this is going to be a mess. I mean, I hope they have great big totes. Right. And Matt says, I don't think we're going to take the bodies. And I said, well, this, you're just verifying that they're here? Pictures? He goes, no, we're going to cut their heads off. And, uh, you know, Laura and I were disturbed by that because right. that's, you know, that's kind of desecrating. They were our babies, too, so no one got babies in the back of the body. heads. Desecrating, yeah. desecrating, you know, our animals. And so they, they jumped on in there, and you can see it in my videos, so cutting it off with a, with a hacksaw. And I said, I said, why, why are you doing that? Why? I said, why not take the whole body? And he says, the problem is, is if we take that body, he says, then we have to have the entire thing necropsied. And he says, and we don't want to confuse an unsophisticated jury with the medical condition of that tiger when the shock value is in proving that he put a shotgun to its head and killed it. I said, well, it makes sense. I mean, it's hard to say, it's hard to argue that a tiger had no claws or that his claws were grown into the pads when you have no claws, right. when you have no feet. So, you know, he, he effectively admitted that they were only interested in when you should have heard them hooting and hollering whenever they found bullet holes they had the skulls laid out bullet hole bullet hole and just took those skulls so covered the bodies all back up and the picture you sent me of of, <coughs> of the 10 or 8 or the celebration at the yeah. end so what yeah. was that well he um he was asking me not to because i had my camera on, you know i wanted you know for I wanted to record this, and he says, Jeff, just make sure that you don't get any agent's face in the pictures because a lot of these guys are undercover. And some of them even did have masks on, but I, it was because of the smell. Yeah, it was just the, the smell. They were yeah. like putting vapor <coughs> yeah, they put va under and the smell. Yeah. Yeah. It was, it was and then a mask. Right. So, you know, I, I got the video that I could get, and then at the end of it, um, Matt called for a, a group photo in front of the backhoe and handed me his camera and a few other agents' cameras, and they all stood, I bet there was 20 of them, they all stood in front of the back of them. That was only one, two, three. Oh, one of them's hiding in the back. <laughs> uh -huh. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. So eleven of them. Yeah. Um, they all stood there for a group photo, and I, I took a photo, and also had my phone in my hand, so I just snapped it. He didn't know. Um, but we've never posted that one. We always... Oh, you can get one of the guy's names as on the shirt. Yeah. That was there. And, um, you know, I had to sign the consent to search, which I still have. But, yeah, that was... They were celebrating, and then Matt says, I can't tell you to do this, but if I happen to know a news reporter up in Oklahoma City who happened to have 
the access to a helicopter and it happened to be flying over this park while we're digging. He says, there's not anything that we could do about that. So I took that to be an invitation to go call the news station, which I think we did. But if I'm not mistaken, it was, did they fly over or was it too rainy? And they couldn't. It was, it was <coughs> weird overcast, but they stayed up at the, um, up at the driveway yeah, to yeah, get yeah. the parade of them coming out. Yeah, so that's when had... I got a video of them coming from the backpack and um, Mecca, the other news reporter, she got the video of them coming out. KOCO the was there yeah. on site and filmed him, filmed him leaving.